Hey guys, it is CloudLXV and welcome back for another Destiny glitch video. Today guys, I'm going to show you how you can glitch back into Seraphim Vault. First things first, uh, big shout out to Envious Gaming. He found this method to get back into the vault, which is different than the method which I was working on, which I will put up later. He got a video up first though, so props to him for finding this easier, simpler way to get back into the vault. Um, so yes, go check out his channel, you'll find links in the description for his channel and for his video in particular. So let's get onto this guys, you want to come to the Forbidden Shore, come in here and just push your sparrow inside here, jump off and you should go under the ground like so. Now you will see a ship on the right there, just come to the left of it, well you don't have to come to the left but let's go to the left of it, you'll see another ship, go to the right of it. And there'll be a little barrier, but you can slide underneath it. And you can do a weird little animation thing by jumping and it just... Which sounds weird as hell. Um, you can go to the right, you can come between these rocks. You can even pull out your sparrow and drive underneath there. But I thought I would just uh, take it slow, enjoy the sights and enjoy the weird little noise like that. It's a bit annoying, don't you think? Um, anyway, here we are. Um, if you guys have got into the Seraphim Vault before, you know how to load it. You can either load it from the left side here, like so, or you can load it from the right side. You can go drop down to the left or drop down to the right um, to get there, so we'll go this way. Whoops. Now of course whenever you do uh, load into the, load the Seraphim Vault you can just kill yourself to spawn inside as like any other area. Or you can just stay outside the map and explore first. And I also thought that was pretty cool, they added that in there when the Taken King update came in. What the hell is it? No idea. Um, but you can't get to it either. And the cool thing is it's been a long time since I've actually been down into that little or around the outside of the secret room under Rasputin, so that is now possible once again, which is brilliant. And of course you can come over here, you can drop down, get inside. But we're just going to come over here. As you can see, so from there you can drop down, you can get inside, let's jump back over, and let's go back in the original way. Whenever people in the Alpha and Beta, whenever they did get in here, they found a certain way to get inside the map. Of course, back then they didn't realize that when you load a map, and if you kill yourself, instantly you will appear inside the map. But that is common knowledge nowadays. Actually, some people still didn't even know that when, uh... The Taken King update came out because people said that they managed to get the load the echo chamber. Um, if you're on, you know, if you're on Xbox One, you can't get into the echo chamber yet, but you can glitch into it. Um, but people didn't realize that as soon as you looted it, you could have just pulled your rocket launcher right and killed yourself and spawned inside because that's what I did on the day the Taken King update came out. Um, but yes, here we are, guys. That was the original way that people used to get inside the vault. And also it saves some uh, ammo from killing yourself at the rocket launcher. And when we're in here, we're just going to run down here at Loot Bunker War 4. We'll run back and we will end the video at the window um, where Rasputin is. So as I said guys, after I uh, finish getting this video edited and uploaded, I will get to work on recording my video. Um, it's going to be a long distance glitch kind of like the ones I did for Mars and Venus um, and obviously through through the thing I'll show you you would have been able to access this as well and get back into the vault and uh, so on and further onwards um, to the grottoes and past the grottoes and into the mine and all that good stuff um, I just don't know how I'm gonna finish it yet but yes guys, that is it. This is this video. Once again, thanks to Envious Gaming, and until next time, Guardians, this is Cloyd XV, and as always, thanks for watching.